1736. Brooks, sailing in the 1780s, featured out in New York by Albert Hall. Coltilda, Band and Sun, at Mobile in 1859 or 1860. They are never sure which year. Constellation, captured in 1860, involved the United States coastwise slave trade and the scene of a slave rebellion in 1841, leading to the Creole case. Desire, the first American slave ship. Duke Domain, along with Aurora, the first French slave ships that brought the first slaves to Louisiana. Banabeto. And today, yes. we are joined by none other than the Gilliam family. Yes, Banabeto. Hello. Thank you for having us. Thank Atondo, you so much Masaka, for having my us. king, my queen. Banabeto, yes, it's that time again when we sit down and rightly divide the word of truth. Now, pay attention, Banabeto, because this is a story that begins in North Carolina. And this is a story that is going to inspire my generation, our generation and the next generation, because our guests have molded a relationship on the Tula, the Tula of Bao Oswe Mazulini, Sonini Nanini Somangla. So for the first time, on Bantu Re-Education TV, none other than, let them introduce themselves. I don't like doing that. My king, my queen. I'm Isaac Gillum, and this is my wife, Krishna Gillum. Ayete, my king and queen. So, uh, my king, you know, we, we are Bantu, so we honor. Yes the head before the neck. Tell us about your work, my king. Talk to Barnabé. Can you repeat that because the video was messing up? OK, uh, talk to us about your awakening. How, how you came into this? Uh, through my awakening, or I came through it through my wife. She actually informed me about the truth about things. And then I went back to research it for myself and just figure out things that what they said didn't make sense and just continue to learn it through the process, uh, learning at the same time they are learning. So just further, um, furthering our knowledge into the awakening of learning things of who we really are and what it means to be spiritual instead of religion, religionist. Kembo, 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 Natata Nzambi, Kumfumo Cha Isa, So Nini Na Nini Somandla. My queen, you know, they say, oh, it is written in the Bantu scrolls, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And when I ask my king how he came into this truth, his answer is straightforward. My wife introduced to it, me to it. So <laughs> now it seems you're the one who was, who, who came with this with this with this with this new bread and gave it to the king. So my queen, tell us how did you come to this truth? So as a little girl, mm -hmm. um, my parents they were pastors, and you know, I was in church all my life and mm -hmm. I used to question certain things. You know, back then, the um, Holy Spirit used to deal with me. Um, and I used to think in my mind, what if Christianity is just like everything else, just a religion that's not real? You know, mm -hmm. what if there are lies in Christianity too? So I, um, I just brushed it off because, you know, I just put it to the back of my mind. That's not how I was raised. I can't be thinking like that. I can't lose faith in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then um, one day my parents sat me 
and my siblings down and they were like y'all we are so sorry that we have given y'all all all these lies and they gave us the truth and they encouraged us to go research this stuff for yourself don't take this for our word go research this stuff to yourself so when we researched it a lot of there was a lot of contradiction in christianity and every it's a lot of stuff that didn't make sense and so when we figured out the truth we came we started off in hebrew israelite Mm -hmm. but then we found out that there was so much more than just you know oh we're the true you know we are the true you know chosen people of Totem zombie but still there is more there's spirituality in this so when i um when i found out i knew he was going to be my husband so i was just like well i can't have my husband in christianity you know i'm sitting here just spiritual so i was like yeah i gotta tell i gotta tell my future husband and you know we give we give praise to tatan zambi because you know it's amazing uh, um i i we see what Ibrahama did because uh, at one point Ibrahama is so troubled he goes to Sonini Nanini Somandla and asks him this is what my wife wants and do you know what Sonini yes. answered him hearken to your hearken to thy wife so now uh, <laughs> my my king my king this transition you know it's easy for some to think that uh it's love mm. that led you to this you know if if my wife is okay with it you know uh, a lovely lady you know i'll follow her to the end of the world that's what we say when we are in love so now uh speak to banabeto my king because you are an inspiration all the way from north carolina yes uh a new yes. marriage and resettling in emboland tanzania to be specific now at what point did you find yourself because at the end of the day uh you have veto power if we may use this mundele word you have veto power over the family runnings now explain that to us through your understanding over band to a uh, family setting how this was able to come because you know on this channel we always say we ask the difficult questions so my king well, from from my perspective like even if um at least she helped woke me up for about the situations and that for the whole transition that we're in this together and not just I was I was still in Christianity and she was awoke and awakened rather and she went about her way and I went about mine so we just decided she have, I'm glad that she informed me about the awakening so that we could come together on one accord to basically bring our future families into uh, the awakening as well and letting them know the truth about ourselves and just for us to be together knowing everything that we know about for who we really are is a king and queen mm-hmm. and such a zombie and just for everything i'm just thankful for you should be my brother you should be you should be because truly truly when a bantu man finds a wife he finds a good thing more worth yes. than rubies is she because right now my brother you're in tanzania you get to start yes. you get to start life in the land of your ancestors you get to start a family in the land of your ancestors you get to to, yes. to your children get to grow around the culture of the ancestors so mm-hmm. this is how great sonini nanini is now we've gone through the transition we've left north carolina we've gotten on a plane you know nobody 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 was scared about getting on planes as far as of gather now how has it been for you my king my queen in tanzania the people the culture the food we want to know all about it because
there are brothers that and sisters that are reaching out to me and asking me, we want to make, we want to touch base with the motherland. So tell them, my king, what should they expect? What should they not expect? According to your perspective in the spiritual, is in the spirituality and in general. Well, the first thing we expect there for getting here is other than the heat when we first getting here, since we come <laughs> from North Carolina, it was still the winter time. Uh, just uh, getting off the plane, you just feel a sense of peace, like just pure peace, no chaotic, no nothing being rushed or anything like this. Just everything is just at peace and at ease. It just as a natural flow with things, like everything just goes naturally. Nothing is forced, mm -hmm. and then everybody, all the people are friendly. Even though we got some stares from when we first got here, mm -hmm. but now everybody's just seen you know, a wave or you get a head nod every now and then. Everything just been fun, and the food, the food is good. Everything is more fresh. Nothing we have yeah. to worry about processed food or anything like that. Um, with the ingredients they put up there, that's what it says for it, and. Other than that, it's just been it's just been blessed and been amazing here mm -hmm. since we got here. Kembo Kembo Natata Nzambi. To him we give all the praise. My queen, that is the yeah. king talking. But you know, we 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 don't want he might be speaking something that you've not experienced, but I know you speak one language, but we would like to hear from you, my queen. How has it been for you? It's been wonderful. I often see it and I'm just like, I'm really here in Africa. I'm really here in Tanzania. And it's just like the people here, they're loving. They, it's like everybody is a unit, like unity, family, closeness. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I think that's my favorite thing about being here in Africa, everybody literally works together here. And it's like when I first, when we first got here, we did get a lot of stairs. But it's just like because we're from the Western world. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we like blend in, everybody's just like, oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> you know, this, that, and the third. So it's, it's a really a beautiful experience. It really is. The food is amazing. Like, we haven't tried a lot of um, African food yet, mm -hmm. but because we do a what, lot of cooking here at the house. What stands so, out? What stands out from what you've sampled? You know, because a lot of a lot a lot of uh, the kings and queens will be using Tanzania as a landing pad to access uh, the rest of Africa. So, what would you recommend for a Bantu king that has just left LAX, has just left uh, Heathrow, that has just left whatever names they have for those airports and has landed in Dar es Salaam and they want, I'm so hungry. What would you recommend? Uh, Cruise Line. Cruise Line. Cruise Line. Um, we we'll recommend there's a place in um, Tanzania. It's called Slipway mm -hmm. in Dar es Salaam. Mm -hmm. It's a it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful, and the view is gorgeous. There are like multiple restaurants. Um, it's just a beautiful place where you can go and enjoy yourself, listen to some music, go shopping, go eat. It's really beautiful, or you can just sit there by the water and just look out at the view. It's really beautiful. So Kimbo, I would Kimbo. say slip way. Kimbo, Kimbo, please proceed, my queen. Which one? Proceed. Me or her? Oh, I, I thought I'd interrupted her, but if, if she was done, it's okay. Oh, no. Uh, no. I was just saying, it's a place called slip way. That's the name of the place. Mm -hmm. And uh, you really, so yeah. it's something you would recommend. Um, my king. Yes. Yeah. Uh, before we get to the the reason why we all gather here, and that is to to proclaim the name of Sonini Nanini Somandla, uh, Tatan Zambia, yes. the Father Almighty, if you prefer, or Modimo Mowari, depending on what uh, region your ancestors 
were relegated to after the coming of the Mundele. Now, challenges that you have found so far, you know, we might want to paint um, a good picture about Embo, but you know, we, we don't mince words on Bantu re-education oh. TV. We give the truth as it is. You have said you're having challenges with the heat. Now, is there any challenge that you feel, having come from the diaspora, that anybody else coming here would want to look into when it comes to adapting? Well, for the, I guess the challenge of thing for us coming here was that back in the States, everybody's so used to having, like, creating their own schedule and their own ways for certain things. Mm -hmm. It's just coming here, it's just that you have to put, um, not, well, not faith, but you have to trust and believe in, so not, so then and not then mm -hmm. that he'll be able to provide for you and that you have to put all your trust in him. Because I know at times for, it might seem like for things are getting hard, but you just continue to have to trust that he'll, yeah, he will provide, may not be when you want it, but he will be able to provide for you and your family and for our family as well. And it's been like one of the most challenging things here. Uh, naturally with, uh, with, with, with new ground, I think now we, f we, we must understand how Iburahama must have felt, leaving behind everything he knew to start yes. life yes. anew. But also, I use this opportunity to encourage you because it's a new system that you're having to adapt to. Yes. And uh, even we that are here, like just before we got on this interview, I had to keep you waiting because uh, corporate had issues with, um, with transport. Uh, but they finally sorted out. They, they were able to get me another driver. And thanks to your patience, my king and my queen, we were able to do this. Now, my queen, uh, the king says it's all, you know, he's a provider because that is, that is a Bantu man, you know, because yes. uh, uh, our ancestors were there with the swords and the, and, the, and, the, and the nice gold bracelets. You know, they want to tell us they were naked, but they were not. You know, they're there, they're providing, you know, they're hunting or, or whatever it is, they're taking care of the flock. Now you, my queen, what challenges have you found in the land of your ancestors, in the land of your mighty one, the land of Sonini Nanini, Somandla, Nkosi Bankosi, King of Kings, my queen. I think my biggest challenge has been we've come upon a lot of like we take Ubers and mm -hmm. so um, when we talk to these Uber drivers they don't see even though you know we have the same skin color they don't see us as them they see us as just like another race and I think my biggest issue was at first it was trying to fit in because mm -hmm. we it seemed like we were so different but we finally overcome I finally overcome that fear of not fitting in and one thing um Queen Kempavita she mm -hmm. told me she said the reason why they're staring is, is because you're an atmosphere changer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you're awakening mm -hmm. you change the atmosphere so that's why they're staring and so when she told me that, I was like, you know what? Okay, I know what it is now. So that I, was my biggest challenge. Now it's something that I'm good with. If I change the atmosphere today. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You had that, Banabeto. <laughs> now, uh, now, my queen, I, I, I don't think they had. I don't think they had. Tell them again. When you're walking with Sonini and Nini, what happens? You change atmospheres. How you, you your atmosphere, your everything changes. Everything calms when you come in the room. Mm, mm, mm. When you're awakened, when you're aware. I didn't say it, Banabeto. You had it. You had it from the Kilem family. Bantu royalty. And 
I think it's clear to us. That's why I don't even, I'm not even, I don't even want to be seen on the screen because I want Vanaveto to see the kind of glow that is with you, my king, and you, my queen. So, uh, my king, now that, you know, we, we, we might not have a lot of history as to the awakening because it was, it was instantaneous, you know? It's an amazing thing that happened to the Manning family. Uh, everybody just came into this truth and uh, we thank Bantu King and Queen for raising you in a way that yeah. this was able, you know, we are told raise a child in the way they should go yeah. and they will never depart from that. Now, my yeah. King, we've, we've, we've settled all that. Now, I know I've kept you for long, and I'll try not to keep you any longer. So, and we are going to, we are, we are going to continue to engage on this platform because uh, if my king and queen will accept, we'll be having a new series for young couples, you know? Okay. And, and uh, it will be an honor, my king, my queen, We'll talk details. Yes. Thank you. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. You know, we, we allow the Mwanda to lead us because when we reach out to you, yes. just like those before you, there was nothing short of Ubuntu fire. So we return, yes. we return this honor of you having. It's not... Uh, it's not just anything ordinary that you find people will wait for you. More so Banabeto will have to wait for you because honestly, Banabeto, this is this is just amazing king and queen. Uh, they, they, they had to wait for so long and <laughs> tell us my king, I don't wanna tell us, tell us, tell, speak to your people, my king, my queen, <laughs> tell them what they need to know because I'm, I'm excited. I'm, 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 I'm so many things right now. So let me just listen. Kembo, Kembo, Natata Nzambi. This way. Okay, so. Hey, just tell me. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> um, one thing I always encourage, um, I always say this, but songs, 82 and 6 tells us that it says, I have said that you are gods, mm -hmm. children of the Most High. Mm -hmm. You are gods. It's in the book. They won't tell you. They don't preach this, but you are gods. You need to know this so you know who and who you are. You are beautiful, you are important, you are loved. Love yourself. It's in the Bible, it's in the Bible. Yes. They, they tell you, he tells you, love yourself. Just like you love your neighbor, just like you love the most high, love yourself too. You'll mm -hmm. love everybody else but your own. You'll take care of everybody else but your own. Yeah. My queen. And you are his temple. My you queen. have to love yourself. My queen, remind them that if they want to realize their identity, then when they see my king, they have seen the father. When they see you, my queen, they have seen the father. Because Msindisi. Definitely. Yes who calls us our brother, mm. our soon coming king. Mm -hmm. So if your brother is a king, there's no way you become the jester in the king's court. It's your birthright. It's Come in your blood to be a king. Come on. Yes. Yes. And we yes. ask the king, give us your message, my king. Why don't we go back to the queen on that one? And not just only that we're guys, but we have gold in our blood and that we have value to us. Don't ever feel like that. You're not valued in this world because like you said, like I said, we have gold running through our blood 
and that we are valuable and that we are precious to him and that we are priceless. And you can never put a price on our heads and that we're just special in his eye. And let me just add one thing to what he said because My queen. I had this issue where I was um <laughs> I had this issue where I was thinking less of myself. Mm -hmm. I had gone through so much. This was, I think I was in, and I'm still in my early 20s. I think I was about 20. Mm -hmm. But um I had this dream that I was walking in. I asked the most high before I prayed. Before I pray, I said, Most High, show me myself in your eyes. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Mm -hmm. And I saw myself walking into a building. And I turned around. I was sitting in the church and I turned around and I literally saw myself walking into a building. Mm -hmm. I prayed, I said, Most High, show me myself in your eyes. He showed me myself in his eyes i was beautiful long hair i was glowing i was i was beautiful Hallelujah. he showed me these colors with a with a gold belt that said i was valuable and you are beautiful you are valuable you pray to the most high and you talk to the most high and he will let you know who you are and who you are that he sees you as valuable, you are priceless. He will tell you. Yes, Banaveto. Yes, Banaveto. Yes, Banaveto. I wish I could make this stuff up. I wish I could. But even I am not that creative. Only he who sends Banaveto can do marvelous things. Great things happening. Yes right before our eyes. Yes. Love yes. is found. Love is nurtured. And love now, Banabeto, by his grace, by his ngolo. Two young, amazing, Bantu, children of the most high, Bananzambe. Yes giving it to you straight, uncensored. You can see it, Banabeto. That's not something you fake. And that's not something the world gives. It can only come from Tatan Zambi. Yes. yes. Now, um, I know the Gilliam family has really waited uh, for us to go live with this. So we're going to be inviting them over and again because this is the punishment they're going to give me. I'm going to inflict a punishment on myself that will be muted, uh, muted by them because I, 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 had to, I had to wait. I'd also like to give a special shout out to Mudoni, this amazing driver who was, after I was told, was able to get me to this interview in time. I thank you, my king, my queen, for all the patients because somebody somewhere was communicating and and holding back you you did not get you did not tire you still held out for me uh for those of us in east africa it's uh, 15 minutes past 10 p.m so i just wanted mm -hmm. our, our 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 viewers urban abeto to get a feeling of what they are going to get because my my, king, my queen they're going to be seeing a lot of you uh because we need to we need to disseminate some of these issues so i really appreciate the time that you took my king my queen as we continue as we continue to honor those that continue to speak this truth elder robert held me i honor you nabi yanata shilombo i honor you Tre Oketiwe is solely, I honor you. Murugi Wanzambe, Murugi Wanzambe, I honor you. The warrior queen, Kimpa Vita, I honor you. Yes. Kefas Diseka yes. Bantu King, I honor you. Yes. Of course, Mikhail Massa, Bantu King. I've not heard Yes, definitely. We continue to honor 
these people because they have taken the tip of the spear to bring this truth to you. And we have reinforced that on Bantu Re-Education TV, we are not a teaching channel. We are a channel that brings you the fruits yes. of this teaching. Mm -hmm. And you see it, Banabeto. Lovely couple, young couple, as the warrior queen calls them. But uh, I believe they are a couple that have so much because we've only scratched the surface of this story. We've only scratched yes. the surface of this story. We've only scratched the information that they have to. But we have, we, we, we have to honor them as they have honored us and not keep them long enough because it's getting late. We'll be re inviting them. Actually, I think they'll have a show of their own, if that is. Yes, yes we do. We do. So, Bayete, my king, Bayete, my queen, I look forward to the next time. Uh, we apologize to you, Banabeto. This was a bit rushed. We are all tired. As you can see, I have not even changed from my day job attire. So my king, my queen, what do we ask them on this Thank channel? You. What do we ask them on this channel? If you, Ungubani, you remember that? So we are going to ask them together. Ungubani, which is, uh, who are you? Know thyself. Ungubani, oh. who are you? Okay. So, uh, okay. so we'll let the queen that is amongst us to give us a count of three. And uh, when the count laps, we're going to ask Panabeto Ungubani together. Okay, so my queen. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, have it. Yeah. The Gilam family, the king and the queen herself. Until next time, Panabeto. This is Bantu Re-Education TV, rightly dividing the word of truth with the Gilam family, Kembo Kembo. <laughs>